All right, so this is a microphone test of the LG T90 True Wireless Earbuds. As you can see, not too much noise taking place today. All right, so now we switched over to the AirPods Pro 2. Same outdoor test, pretty similar noise conditions compared to the LG, so. All right, so now this is an indoor test of the LG T90 True Wireless Earbuds. So this is more so ideal conditions, not much noise taking place around me. We're in a quiet indoor environment, just so you guys can hear indoor versus outdoor. All right, so same thing, AirPods Pro 2, quiet indoor environment, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. So I definitely feel like the AirPods Pro 2 have the better microphone performance. So that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're somebody that takes a lot of phone calls when you use your earbuds. With the LG T90, I was a little disappointed in the overall microphone performance, especially outdoors, uh, because in that example, there honestly wasn't even that much noise taking place around me. Um, there was some slight wind noise, and I think maybe the earbuds were trying to cancel that wind noise out. And as a result, it just made my voice sound really muffled. Um, they did sound better in comparison in the indoor example. Um, so if you're in ideal conditions, you know, a quiet environment, they should be just fine. But in noisy environments, yeah, I was definitely disappointed. Uh, I'm curious to know what you guys thought. Feel free to let me know down in the comments. So let's go ahead and take a look at the charging case. As you can see, very compact in size, very comparable to the AirPods case. So as far as fitting this down into your pocket, you're not gonna have any issues at all. It also supports wireless charging, just like the AirPods as well. Now, one thing that these have is ultraviolet technology, which is designed to kill bacteria on the earbuds whenever they're inside of the case. I don't really know who's looking for that or who wants that, but just so you guys know, it is there. So maybe if you're a germaphobe or something like that, then these might be up your alley. Now, even more unique than that is LG's plug and play feature, which basically allows you to use the earbuds with devices that don't have Bluetooth. So it comes with a type C to 3.5 millimeter audio cable. And with that, you can connect it to the charging case and then use the 3.5 millimeter part of the cable to plug into like a PlayStation or, you know, a gaming console. Um, or you could plug it into like the in-flight entertainment if you're somebody that catches, you know, a lot of long flights. So I tested this out with my PlayStation 4 and it actually worked really well. Um, there was no noticeable lag in terms of the audio and what I was seeing on my TV. And also what I really liked is that I was able to control the volume of the gameplay using the touch controls on the earbuds. And I was even able to mute the gameplay or the volume of the gameplay using the touch controls on the earbuds as well. So I definitely like that. So like I said, definitely gonna be great for gaming purposes and also for traveling purposes if you don't wanna use those crappy headphones that they tend to give you on longer plane rides. So as far as the earbuds, very similar design to the AirPods with that short stem design. And these do feature in-ear detection, just like the AirPods. So anytime you remove one of the earbuds from your ear, your music will automatically pause. And then once you place it back into your ear, it'll automatically resume. Now, as far as the controls, these do give you access to all of your controls, as well as the option to customize the configuration of the controls within the dedicated app. So I definitely love that feature. But overall, I do prefer the squeeze controls of the AirPods Pro 2. I feel like it's just easier to be accurate with your controls, whereas with the LG T90, you do have to kind of learn that sweet spot on the outer portion of the earbud. They do work great. They're definitely usable. And over time, they're definitely accurate. But like I said, I do find the squeeze controls on the AirPods to be a little easier to use. So one of the big advantages for Apple users when it comes to the AirPods is the option to track them and find them if you ever misplace them. Well, you actually get similar functionality with the LG T90. So if the earbuds are outside of the charging case, you can go into the dedicated app and you can cause the earbuds to make a very high pitched sound to help you locate them. Now, if the earbuds are inside of the case, you can go into the app and find the last known location 
where the earbuds were last paired to your device. So you have very similar functionality as far as locating and finding the earbuds if you happen to misplace them. So as far as specs, the T90 are running Bluetooth 5.3 and they support SBC, AAC, as well as Aptex Adaptive compared to just SBC and AAC with the AirPods. You also have a dedicated gaming mode inside of the app. So if you consider yourself to be a competitive gamer, that might be something to consider. The T90 also have Google Fast Pair as well as Microsoft Swift Pair. So you're getting that very seamless pairing process, much like what you get with the AirPods using an Apple device. But not only that, on the T90, you have multi-point connection, which means that you can connect to two devices at the exact same time. And using the app, it makes it really easy for you to see which devices you're connected to as well as make changes to the devices that you're connecting to. So with the AirPods, obviously you have the seamless device switching when it comes to using Apple devices, but with the T90, no matter the types of devices that you own, you can connect to two at the exact same time. So as far as battery life, the T90 are giving you roughly nine hours on a single charge and around 27 hours total once you factor in the case. Now, keep in mind that those numbers are with active noise cancellation turned off. So the more you use active noise cancellation, transparency mode, gaming mode, and those more advanced features, those numbers are going to come down. And then as far as water resistance, we have an IPX4 rating, which is the exact same as the AirPods, which means they're splash proof as well as sweat proof. So not really a pair that you want to completely submerge in water. Now, when it comes to the fit, it's pretty similar between these earbuds, pretty much because their design is so similar. Neither of them is noticeably more comfortable, but I will say that the AirPods do feel like they hug the ear a little bit better. But like I always say, fit is 100% subjective, so it honestly is just going to depend on your ears. Now, one feature that I absolutely love when it comes to LG earbuds is notification readout. So obviously with the AirPods, if you're using an iPhone, they can read out your text messages and things like that. So you don't necessarily have to reach for your phone in order to stay in the loop and know what's going on. Well, you actually get the same feature on the LG earbuds, no matter what type of phone you're using, which is really unique because usually you have to stay in the same ecosystem. So if you're using an iPhone, you've got to use the AirPods. If you're using a Samsung, you got to use one of the Galaxy Buds, but no matter the device, you can get that exact same feature using the T90 earbuds. And actually, if you go into the app, you can pick and choose which apps you want to have notification readout. So it gives you some customization as well. So that's a really unique feature that you don't see on most earbuds. So let's go ahead and talk active noise cancellation. So the T90 are definitely giving you some respectable performance. They do a great job at blocking out lower frequency sounds, but they're just not quite on the level of the AirPods Pro 2, which honestly is not necessarily a knock against the T90, because in my opinion, the AirPods Pro 2, as well as the Bose QuietComfort 2, pretty much have the best active noise cancellation that any earbuds have to offer. So if I'm giving the AirPods a nine out of 10, as far as active noise cancellation, I would say the T90 are around a seven out of 10. And it's pretty much the same story with the transparency mode. The T90 are very effective at drawing in your ambient sounds. It's just not quite as effective as the AirPods Pro 2, which again is not really a knock against the T90 because Apple has been the best at transparency mode for some time. And the main thing that you notice is that it sounds slightly more processed and not quite as natural as the AirPods Pro 2. So as far as sound quality, I would say that these are on pretty level playing fields. Straight out of the box, I will say that the bass on the T90 does seem to be a little bit more pronounced, but thanks to the dedicated app, you can easily scale that back or even increase it if that's what you prefer. They've got a handful of different presets for you to try out as well as the option to create your own. And then they also have Dolby Atmos with head tracking, which is basically the equivalent of spatial audio. So they're pretty comparable in that regard as well. So as far as sound quality, not really any glaring differences, but I will say if you're an Android user, 
you're going to have more control over the sound on the T90 simply because of the dedicated app. So overall, I feel like LG has done a great job again at providing an AirPod alternative, especially for people that may not be Apple users. You have a lot of the same specs and features, as well as some really unique features that you won't see on most earbuds. I do feel like the call quality could definitely be better. But aside from that, I think these are an excellent option. So I will put the link down in the description in case you guys are interested. And aside from that, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video.